Greetings, brothers and sisters. My name is Linda, and my channel is called Simple Help Now. Thank you for listening. Beautiful brothers and sisters, Jesus is coming. We are waiting for our beloved's return with great anticipation in seeing him. He is the Alpha and Omega, the bright and morning star. He is worthy of adoration and praise. He is our focus and we are to worship him alone. I had an experience and a dream in the last couple of weeks that point to a soon rapture. I also want to share an encouraging word that I felt that the Lord spoke to me. Before, before I do, I want to say that the doctrine of the rapture and our gathering together in the clouds was revealed to the disciples by Jesus. He gave some clues to his disciples to understand his teaching. He gave them hope and comfort just as he was going to the cross and would be separated from them. He would, they would see him again, not only after the resurrection and the days following, but he was also promising an appearance. This was not as in the judgment at the end of the age, but an event to gather his believers together as his family. This gave the disciples such comfort and sustained them just with the knowledge of the rapture, just as it does for us today. Jesus not only spoke about it, but he also demonstrated it by action about what would happen. Jesus lifted from the earth to the clouds and beyond. His disciples personally witnessed this as he ascended. He wanted them to know that they would follow his lead it would be the same in the same manner. Jesus also spoke of people being caught up while one was working, grinding at a mill, and the other taken. While the other one slept, the other one was taken. He said it would be a gathering together in the sky as eagles gather and fly up to the clouds. I had an experience a couple of weeks ago. It was late at night and I was going to sleep. And just as I was drifting off, I felt my legs lift and my whole body started lifting up toward the ceiling. Instantly, I thought it was the rapture and I was thrilled and I said, take me, take me, take me. I wasn't afraid of not being taken up, but I was so excited to go with him. It was a demonstration of the rapture, which made me aware of how it might take place. I had a short dream also that indicated that we are soon leaving. In the dream, I was swimming in a marathon for a prize. I swam the first stretch and ended up on a piece of land where people were gathered. I then swam the second round. Before the third and final section, I asked, does anyone here know where the end is? No one knew for sure. And there were people standing around who seemed not to even care about the race. They are oblivious. I then swam toward the distance where I could see land I stood up and I realized I had obtained the prize. I knew the swim had started in Alaska and ended in Seattle. I don't think this was a literal swim as I am not a strong swimmer. However, I started my life in Alaska and I wondered if something happening in Seattle would be the final finish line. Many people have seen Seattle destroyed, so perhaps that is where a nuclear uh, bomb will hit the United States. I don't live in Seattle either, nor plan to. We are getting close to the finish line of the time allotted to mankind, 6,000 years minus the seven year tribulation. We are right there. Are you watching? Jesus is about to return. And Jesus said in John 14, two through four, let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And where I go you know, and the way you know. Jesus shared these words to bring comfort to those who loved him was to show his disciples and to us that Jesus is a bridegroom and he promises to gather his own bride for his own great and glorious wedding. 
This referred to a Galilean wedding practice. However, Jesus is coming in a different manner when he comes to fight his enemies and destroy them at the end of the Great Tribulation. When Jesus returns as the king to judge the ungodly world, he will not refer, it, refer to it in these same enduring terms. He will be the Lord of Lords, returning to stay on earth, judge his enemies, and with a great army, which we will be a part of, will judge the nations. Concerning the rapture, Jesus gave some details about how he separates his bride from believers in the catching away. Matthew 24, 38 through 44 and Luke 17, 34 through 36 were written to show us that Jesus himself spoke of the rapture and the lifting of those who are his, even to the point of separating couples and friends at this event. Jesus gives an overview of the seven-year tribulation in previous verses of the chapter, and then Jesus breaks it down with specific details about the two events. I'm reading one of those details Jesus spoke of concerning the harpazo or rapture. Matthew 24, 38 through 42 says, For as in the days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark and did not know until the flood came and took them all away, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. Then two men will be in the field, one will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding at a mill, one will be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for you do not know what hour your Lord is coming. This isn't the second coming. Jesus says normal activity will be happening letting us know that this scene will not take place after the Great Tribulation starts or at the end or even the middle. During the Great Tribulation, people will not be buying and selling in a normal fashion, but will be subject to food shortages, the mark, the beast system, and the Antichrist. Also at the end, very few people will even be alive. During the Great Tribulation, they will not be taken by surprise as there will be ongoing disasters and stresses. This event will happen in times where commerce and work will still be happening. If Jesus was speaking of his coming at the end of the age, he would have pointed out his arrival on the Mount of Olives, the judgment of the sheep and goats, and the judgment of nations. The rapture and second coming are two separate events. I will post in the description box about the differences between the two. Even at the middle of the tribulation, terror will be happening and life will not be normal. The Antichrist will be at work. One time period is a wedding and the other is Jesus coming to rule and reign on the earth and to judge. There's two different groups and separate events. So I want to share a word I felt the Lord gave me. It is revealing that we are so close, so very close to the rapture. Feel free to test all the words, and here it is. My children, my chosen bride, look up. Your redemption has come, and you will be received as true sons and daughters in the courtyard of the King of Kings. You will enter by the gate, the salvation granted by the salvation of my son who gave his life as a ransom for many. The blessedness of your position will be known at that moment of true grace. Oh, the joy you will experience in the kingdom, my dear sons and daughters. There will be true harmony of spirit as you are one in my son and in me. The favor will be like the precious oil of Aaron and that's in Psalms 133 too. Today is just a moment, a drop, as eternity stretches out before you. Don't be too concerned about the wars as they are signposts to watch for the appearance of my son, whose visible image and real appearing will, be, will part the sky in the moment he gathers his bride to himself. As a bridegroom, he will be reigned with glorious light and beauty. You will hear a shout in a series of trumpet blasts. His voice will change the atmosphere and the dead will be caught up into their glorious bodies. Then those who remain will experience an explosion of glory and light 
as they rise and meet him in the air. The transition will be quick, quicker than any movement known to mankind, faster than the speed of light, a beautiful manifestation of glory and power. My children, all is ready. You are a blessed generation indeed. Twice I have spoken this and twice you have heard. For the mouth of two witnesses, every matter shall be established. And that was the word. Jesus spoke that about this event at least twice. Indeed, Luke 10, 23 and 24 and John 20, 29 is a, is a blessing on those who believe what is going to happen before they see the fulfillment. He has prepared our rooms in the Father's house. He is going to keep his word to us. He will take those who are his, separating the bride from those who are not his. Jesus, our bridegroom, is coming. He is coming and he is revealing it before it happens. Listen and hear what Jesus is saying. He is coming for his bride. Keep watch, pray for your loved ones, put their names in the comments so we can pray with you. I will do this also. Thank you for listening. See you in the clouds very, very soon. This is Linda from Simple Help Now.